Once upon a time in a peace-performing village located between two huge hills, a young boy called Aaron. He was also a curious person, and people of the village used to know Aaron as the gentle-hearted boy. One warm day, he put together a modest lunch of five small portions of bread and two fish, put them carefully in a cloth, then went to the village market. As Aaron strolled around the market, he observed something queer. A great multitude of the people stood listening to the words of a wandering teacher, Jesus, who was in the town square. Thus, curiosity piqued. Aaron moved closer to hear what words of counsel the Jesus had given. In a simple manner, Jesus preached love, compassion, and sharing. Aaron listened and thought to himself that the message being conveyed was one of giving. At some point, the people began to lose interest and move around. From this, it was apparent they were starving. Most of those present had come from distant places without food. Seeing the situation, Aaron remembered his lunch. He looked at the small amount of food he had and felt a pang of worry. He had only enough for himself, but the lesson from Jesus made him think about the power of sharing. Summoning his courage, Aaron approached Jesus and offered his lunch. Teacher, he said shyly. I have this small lunch. Maybe it can help. Jesus smiled warmly and accepted the bread and fish. He then took the food and blessed it, thanking God for the gift. To the amazement of everyone present, the small meal began to multiply. Everyone in the crowd was served, with plenty left over. As Aaron looked on, the people gorged themselves and were joyful. He wanted to give the little boy candy, and he was glad that the power of the miraculous was with him now. With the end of the day, there was a celebration of what God had provided for them. The story of the boy who gave his lunch became an inspiring one in the village. Having seen this, Aaron went on living his life with the principles he had seen, never hesitating to assist and give to others. His small gesture of providing food to many people was not only done to satisfy the hunger of the people, but also the desire of giving an act of kindness. 